Okay, so the next two books I'm going to be quoting from is what's called the NET Bible, which is the New English Translation of the Hebrew Bible based on the Hebrew language. You have a team of scholars from Cambridge University, Yale University, that all contributed to updating the English translation to make it properly render the Hebrew meanings. This is called the NET translation. This is one of the best English translations you can get outside of the Hebrew Bible. In verse 28 and 29, they're examining the word tafas. I want everybody to take note of the highlighted portion on the left. The verb tafas means to seize or grab. In all other examples, this action is done against another person's will, as in being captured, arrested, attacked, or grabbed with insistence. So it may be that the man is forcing himself on her, which is what leads the NIV to translate the next verb as violation. Violate as a verb. As a verb violate can mean 1. To break or disregard a rule or convention. 2. To rape. To rape. To rape. To rape. Although it is a neutral euphemism. Euphemism. The use of a word or phrase to replace another with one that is considered less offensive. Considered less offensive. Considered less offensive. For sexual relations. However, this is only the case. This is only the case. This is only the case. Where the object of Tafas is a woman. 